Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil Remaster. We last left off, we just got our shotgun and um, we were getting ready to go face your. This could be interesting. So, what to take? Let's just take... Um, they're not really going to use... We're not really going to use the shotgun, we might do. One thing I do want to have a look at is the map. Um, Let's have a look down here now. Um, right, so that room's clear. So as we go down, there's still an item in, I think that's the kerosene. There, interestingly, there's an item in the corridor downstairs. That's interesting. Uh, what else have we got? Can't do anything here. Right, okay. So let's go up and see your... Yeah, I think the shotgun's probably the best bet for this. Just in case any zombie gets a little bit too close. We can, in theory, take his head clean off. Now, I don't really want to waste zom uh, shotgun ammo on the zombies, but... Considering I think I've completely messed up with the difficulty, I think we'll be okay. Now, there is a... Z oh, shit! I didn't think he was going to be that close. Sir! My God! He almost gave me a bloody... Damn it! Coronary. A coronary. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. We might be able to avoid that guy after all, then. Now, in here was what I was more worried about. Two herbs there. Okay, if you say so, game. I hate to imagine what playing it on the easiest settings like. Yeah, knew you there, buddy. Come on. Put your lips around this. Boom! Nice. Well, we never have to worry about him again. Hello. That's handy. Wasn't expecting to find one of those. So, what do we have in here? Hangar magazine. Again, I wasn't thinking that we'd get one of those. Uh, what else have we got? An unlit candlestick. Well, Chris, if you search your top pocket, you'll find a lighter. Actually, let's have a look at Chris's lighter. Examine. Lighter of lighter. Ha. Huh. Alright. A, a brass coated lighter with gold. Called lighter of lighter. Right, I shall have to check that brand out one day. Now, what do we have in here? Shotgun cartridges. I thought as much. Now, this room looks all but empty to the untrained eye. Let's give this a shove. I know you're around there. There we go. Come on, you. Come on. Don't really want to waste a shotgun shell on you. Not if I can help it. Right, let's grab that. Yeah, we'll take the musical score. The shelves lined with wine glasses. Thanks for that, Chris. I'm really not too bothered. Right, let's go back outside. Now, this does present us with a little bit of a problem. And that is now, we can't really go and see your because... Unless... Oh, we can't do that yet anyway. Okay. Well, I guess we have to go do our other puzzle first. There's another puzzle we can do. Uh, no, we can't grab those, but that's fine. I completely forgot about that, that we need another key. That's a bit of a bugger. Now, where are these guys? I guess we could take these guys out. Well, this guy, I should say. 
How's that? I have the cure for what ails you. Ooh. Damn. Didn't lose his head. That's a pain. Means we're gonna go have to go and burn him. Which we might as well do now. Before he uh, gets up and starts walking about. Alright. We'll indulge this one. Just this once. Right, so... Oh, bugger. We're going to have to go back through that other room. Uh, through that broken door, I should say. Unless... We want to... Yeah, unless we want to... Um go back through all those zombies. We're going to have to chance the broken door. But now we have that, there's actually something else we can do. So let's grab that and that. Right. Oh, we might as well burn that zombie as well. Let's grab up the fuel canteen. Don't want him coming back and stinking up the joint. Right. Now... I guess, really, I should actually equip the gun. That would probably be handier. Now, we're actually going to have two zombies here to burn. So, this is alright. This is convenient. Let's f cook this guy. Hey, buddy. There you are. Finally, sweet release. But only because you tried so hard, damn it. Okay. Now, I guess we should take out our original zombie. Damn. That. Okay. Right. There we go. Uh, I guess we should, yeah, take out the original zombie. Just because we're going to probably use that corridor a couple of times. And I have a feeling, if I check my phone... Yeah, I didn't start my alarm, uh, my timer, but that's fine. Right, we're guesstimate. Now, can we... No, we don't have any spaces left. Damn. Well, let's actually go on a bit of a zombie barbecue, because we haven't actually cooked many zombies so far. Now we're going to need to pick up that emblem in a minute, and we're going to need to pick up that, so we're going to have to come through here a couple of times, so yeah, let's have some fun. Let's drop a couple of uh, these mindless freaks. Come on you! My- oh god, Chris, what are you doing? Oh! Ah, oh, headshot! Alright! Okay, sometimes we do get lucky. Oh, shit. Didn't unlock it. Bugger. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to go the long way round. You know, I always forget that that door's locked from the other side. I always think it's one of these keys. But fine. It doesn't matter. I'm almost tempted to waste that zombie at the, uh, above us as well, just for the hell of it. I guess... What we could do... Is burn that other zombie that we left on the pathway. But he may have actually changed by now. I think they take about 40 odd minutes to change. It's something like that. I know pe some people say it takes about half an hour to 40 minutes for them to change. Let's have a listen. Some people say it, um, it's done on how many events you like accomplish. In my experience, it seems to be almost completely random. No, he hasn't changed yet. Well, you're going to cook, sir. Oh, he has changed. Well, bugger me. 
Alright, you can stop chasing me anytime you like. That was my face. Alright, let's drop this guy. Take him down, Chris. Oh. Okay. They don't seem to be much of a threat at all on this difficulty. Is he dead? Yeah. Now, Crimson Heads, for those guys out there that don't know, they don't get up a second time. Once you've killed them, you've killed them. Um... That was anticlimactic. Ah, well. Not used to being presented with three difficulties. Right. Now, where were we going? We... We're going to go unlock that door. And burn a zombie or two on our way. Just because then that opens up the rest of the mansion. If we're lucky... Ah, uh, he's dropped. Two rounds left. I was going to say, if we're lucky, we can make this idiot's head explode. Come on! Nah, we're not lucky. Down you go, sunshine. Let's burn your body. There you go. There, that'll make you feel better. Right, let's go get some more kerosene. I mean, we've got this thing on us, we might as well use it. Right. Okay, let's go grab some more. About half, okay, so we've still got four uses left. Two, well, two now. I'm quite happy that we actually headshotted that zombie. That was cool. Now, you can headshot Crimson Heads as well. I actually did that when I was playtesting off camera uh, a while ago, which is kind of annoying. I was a bit annoyed that that didn't come off on the camera. Because he literally jumped up and I just blew his head clean off straight away. I was quite impressed. It's still saying there's something in this area. I wonder what's in this area. Ah! Handy. Yep, that's this area sorted. There we go. We've unlocked that now. Um, what items do we have on us? We don't have a spare space. Okay. Let's go drop the lighter fuel container back and we grab the gem we put the gem in the um, correct slot because I think <clears throat> if my memory serves me which sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't I think we get some shotgun shells for doing that Hey, hello. I was equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? I'm um, okay, thank you. Um, I think I'm okay. No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. Yes, no we are. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. You know, Rebecca's quite an un underused character. Yeah, we're fine. So it'd be nice to actually see her um, get some love in some future games. Uh, yeah, we could go grab... Let's put the magazine back for now. I wish I could remember where we use those keys, because I'm pretty sure maybe what, at least one of those keys we don't need to use for a little while. Right, so let's use up our gem. Like I say, I think that gives us shotgun shells, which is why I want to have two slots spare. And... Ah, yes. Okay, okay. So then we can go up here. And um, we can get rid of the musical notes. Oh, no, 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 because we still need one space uh, free. 
bugger. It's a lot more difficult with Chris. Having those, like, two less uh, item slots really does make you think. Because with Jill, things are so much easier. You can have the pistol and the shotgun at the same time. And ammo for one of them as well. And still have, uh, like, five spare spaces. Okay. Now, um... Let's go back through here. I believe, later on in the game, this door, um... Disappears, should we say. Right. Now, I'm curious to see what this guy is going to give us. I'm thinking shotgun shells. Ooh. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. So there we go, if we stick that in. What you got for us, sir? Yep, yeah, shotgun shells. Thought it was. I was starting to build up a nice little um, collection of shells, which is good. Now before we drop that off, let's go and get Rebecca actually doing something productive. Although I guess she is actually helping out Richard, which is pretty handy. Damn it. Sometimes the camera angles, like when the camera angle changes, it changes the direction that you're pushing on the analog stick. Sometimes it doesn't. I think that could use a patch. Because so far, the new control scheme is pretty good. I like it. Uh, oh, what's it? Ah, oh, ink ribbons. Don't need. An expensive looking grand piano. Right. Let's move this thing out of the way. There we go. Be beautiful. Will you take the musical score? Yes, we will. Moonlight Sonata. Let's have a look. A section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and the end of the music. Well, that's okay, because we have... Examine... The beginning and the last sections of the music are missing. Right. That's a happy coincidence. There we are. Right. Now let's see. If. Oh, I think we've actually got to try and play. There we go. Go on, Chris. Give it. Give it all you got. Beautiful. Rebecca. I can see that. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. It was. Can you play? I love this. that my interpretation is off a little let me yeah. practice for a while sure but don't get too carried away oh I won't <laughs> right to be fair Chris it was certainly a shit ton better than yours lad <laughs> I mean you can barely push two or three notes out uh, That's all. At a time. <laughs> uh, right now, let's. While she's practicing, I love the way you can still hear it when you're this far away. It's so good. Um, what can we do? I guess we can sort our inventory out. Uh, we can. Ah, yeah, we can actually grab the emblem from in here. Right. So let's grab this. That looks cool. 
Now this is one of the first puzzles you can do as Jill. Sounded good, Rebecca. Keep it up. Right. Now let's... If the controls would play ball. There we go. Let's uh, jiggle our junk about. Because we don't really need the shotgun. We have tons and tons of handgun ammo to play with. Right. Ah, uh, hey Rich, how are you doing? Uh, we're going to keep that on us. We're going to drop that. There. 24 shotgun shells. Not bad, not bad. Uh, uh, 28 technically. Still only have one death mask. We're not doing very well here at all. Um... Let's grab that. Right. I don't know what to do. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Right. Let's go do the puzzle over the other side. Actually, by the time we go back to her, I wonder if she would have finished that. Wonder if she's practiced enough. Because then we've got, we should have enough time left over in this video to finish off the last two puzzles in the mansion before we can move on to the dorms. Oh, I thought you might be able to hear it. That's a shame. Oh, you can! Faintly. Oh, the sound design in this is so good. Hey, it's sounding almost there. All I right. think I got it. Let's hear it then. Oh, so good. Beautiful. Practice makes perfect. Certainly does. Hello. Let's go have a little look, shall we? Ah, what? Do you know? The gold emblem. Yep, we will certainly take the gold emblem. What is that? Ah, oh, Trevor's diary, of course. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a message, um, our Amiga plate of food, and said, sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, uh, I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you're safe. How could I have been so careless? I lost my favourite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalised just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could have been there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I pass out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, most likely your family is already. Oh, I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be easy. Uh, I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. Godspeed, Trevor. Godspeed. Let's have a look at these things. Oh, no, no, no. Don't combine. Examine. Haha, <laughs> that looks so cool. It's gold all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Wow. 
and the same thing. Okay. All right. Well, let's put that one there. There we go. If we actually look at it. Where's Rebecca gone? Hiding away somewhere. Oh, there she is. Were you all right in there? Yeah. <laughs> Were you all right in there? Yeah. Like, don't tell her what you found, the diary and the mystery of the great place and... Ah, who am I? Who am I wasting my breath on? Right, let's go. Nobody seems to care. I like how many fucks everyone seems to give, to be honest. They're in this massive mansion with, like, all these monsters and all this weird stuff going on. And they're pretty calm. Happy to play a bit on the piano and a few other various activities. Right, let's use that. Yeah. The clock. Now, can I remember this? Um, it's a picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, whilst the long sword has been has pierced the head of the other. Right. Oh, it's easy, yeah. So, when the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside. Try it, yes? So we'll turn the small sword through the breast. No, that's the large sword. Okay. Um, the large sword is going through the head. I believe. So let's turn the small. And we've gone the long way around, but that's fine. There we go. Small. Right. No, no, no. no. Right. So we want to turn the large. It has to go through the breast. Bugger! That was my stupid mistake. The trouble is, the interface like actually goes uh, slower than my button presses. I'm too eager. Right, let's turn that right again. Yep. Large. Left. There we go. I was going to say, I'm sure that's right. six o'clock there we go and that gives us another mansion key okay now that mansion key we can actually use to go fight your let's do that uh, I think ah yeah let's not do that just yet let's go Let's do the puzzle first, the other mansion puzzle. I'm trying to keep it all in my head, like what we've got to do, what we have done. Um, so let's go through here. So I don't really want to have to go downstairs. Now I believe later on we actually get a doorknob which we can use to repair the door downstairs. But I'm sure you can only use it three times. Ah, oh. is that what I think it is? Get back. Damn it. There are certain little areas where this does kind of... Is that like a burn on the floor where we burnt that zombie? Oh no, I think that's just the um, the where the mirror's smashed. I was like, oh, that's cool. Damn it. Right, there we go. Let's just go see your... See, I've got a feeling that there's actually shotgun shells as well to pick up from him. How many spaces do we have? One. That's okay. All 
Now, I can't remember. Did we burn this guy? I think we blew his head off, actually. Oh, that's right. This key only has one use. I forgot about that. Alright, buddy. Haven't seen you for a little while. Let's see if we can do this without getting hit. I seem to have about 50% chance of getting through this. Any shotgun shells? I think... Yeah, there is. Okay, I thought there was in here. Beautiful. Right. Oh, wow. Hey, buddy. Haven't seen you for a little while. Right. Let's move. Let's grab and run. Come on, Chris. Don't fear the Reaper. There we go. You are completely embarrassed him. Snuck off with his dinner. Nice. Happy with how that went. And we actually profited with shotgun shells. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we still can't pick up those herbs, but... Ah, well. We don't really need them. Now, what are we doing time-wise? We've got six minutes. Do we have time to go do the puzzle? Um, maybe. Let's find out. Right. Now, that puzzle box is bugging me now because we haven't found anything. Um, I really can't remember about that. There must be something we find to go in it. Hmm... Alright, let's jiggle our stuff about. Right. Um, don't need that for the time being. Or that. Or that. Stick that there. Yeah, we got stupid amounts of health. Um, not going to take this shotgun actually. Let's just take the handgun uh, and the magazine. I uh, think uh, that should be all we need, really. Now, hopefully, this door is going to last. I'm pretty sure it makes quite a distinctive sound when we um, go through and it breaks. Doorknob looks like it's ready to fall apart. Go through anyway. Ah, okay, I think it's still okay. Oh, shit. Bugger. Two zombies in there now. Probably should have taken the shotgun. But that's okay. The title was written as follows. Bring the light of truth to three spirits. Okay. And we have the crows. Oh, wow. The crows look cool. The crows look really cool. Right. Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman is wearing a bracelet and a necklace and a crown. There is a switch at the bottom of the picture. Uh, no, I don't think we pushed that yet. Now, we need to push that, I believe. Uh, is it that? Yeah, okay, so the necklace. What's this guy got? A picture of a saint wearing a crown. That's gone green. Yep, that's good. And we need an orange bracelet. Ah. No, that's not what we want. Nope, 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 nope. Turn that back. Right, so where's the bracelet? Picture of Valiant Knight set in yellow. Picture of the orange. 
Okay, I think that's right. Let's try that. What ca oh, yeah. Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And there's another mask for our trouble. Yeah, we'll take the death mask. It's locked. An old-fashioned lock. Right. So, that does unfortunately mean we have to go through this way. It also means there's a red, a red key. A little key that I've missed somewhere. Must try and remember where that is. Oh, hang on. I think it's upstairs. Yeah, okay, so before we finish this video... Get off me, you bastard! Swallow that. Oh, nice! Yeah, a bit close to that. Doesn't matter. Both of those zombies are decapitated. That went well. <clears throat> that means we don't have to worry about those two. So is there a door upstairs uh, that we haven't unlocked? Let's just check the map. There isn't... Yeah, there is. Yeah. The door to forest. We haven't actually unlocked that. Let's drop some stuff that, uh, back. And before we actually go back, we're going to go have a look at forest's... Um, corpse. So let's put that there. I uh, don't need that. But I will swap that out for one of those. Actually, if we're just going to go back and see forest, we can drop all of this stuff. Except a key. we we'll keep the key on us. Because I can't remember what... I'm sure... Yeah, I mean, we know it's locked because it's red. I believe if you haven't tried the door, it's grey. Okay. Now, we've taken out all these idiots anyway. I've actually been fairly lucky with our headshots. Which is always good. Right. Oh, we're actually technically out of time, but... Hey, I won't tell anyone if you don't. Curious about seeing forest. There we go. Yes, there we go. Throw the key away. I was going to say I'm surprised that we've still got the uh, that many keys this late on in the the mansion. I'm sure we we didn't always keep them. Ah, handgun magazine. And. Our dear old friend Forrest. Forrest from the Bravo team. There are deep wounds all over his body. What could have torn him up like this? Well, with any luck, we won't have to find out. Forrest has given up the ghost. Looks like he's been dead for a while. Ah, there's two herbs back here, though. Oh, well. I guess he was only napping. Right, let's hoover up these. And that one. Now, I'm not sure if we can actually shoot Forrest. I'm not prepared to try. Because... Yeah, there's still something in here. Where's the buzz... Oh, no, that dagger... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I wonder. I can't remember where Chris gets the bazooka. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm sure we'll find out later on. Okay. Here's me thinking we're about to get ourselves a tasty weapon. Okay, so that's that. 
let's just go scoop up the last two herbs and then we go better go and save it. <clears throat> right. And then when we come back, we're going to figure out that puzzle box. And then once we've figured out the puzzle box, we're going to move on. Hang on a minute. I believe I've literally just had an epiphany about that said puzzle box. I believe, because it said bring the sun to it. I think if we put the sun crest in it. And then... Yeah, I'm sure that's it, thinking about it. Well, I guess we can try that before we finish the video. I'm glad we put these two guys to sleep, I know that much. Well, the two guys out here, anyway. Right, home sweet home. Um, now, going the wrong way. It seems like the item box is a lot bigger as well, which doesn't make a lot of sense considering it was already frickin' huge. But who are we to argue now? Let's grab the wind crest and the jewelry box. Combine. Ah, no, maybe not. So let's just have a look at this. Examine. There's a design of the sun and the moon. On the plate, it says, Sunshine will awaken me. Hmm. Must be a way to open this box. There ah, there's a switch. Will you push it? I uh, didn't do anything. Hmm. Oh, I see. Gee, I feel stupid. There we go. It appears as if you failed. Right, so we need that one and that one. There was a mask inside. Ah, Gee, I feel extremely stupid. Alright, let's put... Where's the other ones? Uh-huh. Uh, right. And... Damn it, I forgot the bloody ink ribbons. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm going to save the video there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know I have. Thanks for watching, and until next time.